Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of Laravel interview series in which we are going to know the history of Laravel. Though its chances are very less, uh, I have marked it as 1 out of 5. Okay, so now from now onwards, I am going to rate every session, I am going to rate every interview, uh, interview questions uh, for their chances. Okay, so its chances are less because interviewer may not ask you about the history of laravel even then we need to know the history of laravel as you are going to become the laravel developer so you must be aware of the history of laravel you must be aware of all versions of laravel okay so see in this uh, entire interview series we need to make sure that we must know all the questions of laravel we must know each and everything about laravel because uh, we don't want that the interviewer uh, will ask you anything and you don't know okay so we will make sure that at the end of this series you are going to be expert of laravel and we will also do the mock test and practical training as well so welcome to the part 2 of 202425 edition from stack developers youtube channel so let's start to know the history of laravel okay so uh so let's see the history uh straight away i am going to make the screen big enough okay like this okay so uh let's see history of laravel laravel is created by taylor otwell in june 2011 okay like i have explained you in the last video as well that the taylor otwell developed the laravel in the year in the year 2011 in the month june in the year 2011 okay so let's see taylor otwell created laravel as an attempt to provide more advanced alternative to the coordinator framework which did not provide certain features such as built-in support for user authentication and authorization okay so maybe the interviewer may ask you why the tailor developed laravel or, or why the laravel gets developed why wh what is the reason behind the development of laravel what is the reason behind the existence of laravel why it comes into existence okay so the answer is like the taylor otwell like uh, uh, initially coding writer framework comes into existence so there are some drawbacks in the coding writer framework so to overcome those drawbacks taylor introduced the laravel because coding writer does not have user authentication authorization see these kind of things we used uh, uh, we use most of the time uh, like if you have seen my laravel e-commerce series we, all the times we use this authentication and authorization as well uh, for the api series as well we used all these kind of uh, authorizations and authentication okay we have done the passport package as well for these authentications okay so auth we have already used uh, see many in every in almost every series we have used the auth without auth it is not possible to develop the laravel website for the users okay so uh, but that thing is not included in coding letter framework so for that laravel gets introduced by the taylor otwell okay so this is the reason the laravel comes into play okay so let's see uh, what happened after that so laravel first version got released in the year 2011 itself in in june okay so actually first the beta version get released laravel first beta version get released in june 9 2011 and after few days itself laravel first version gets released okay in the same month laravel 1 gets released so the features let's talk about the features uh, that's get included in laravel 1 okay uh, so laravel 1 include included built-in support for authentication so see the first thing that the teller do teller just invented the laravel 1 first thing the teller 
have done at that time uh, by adding this port for the authentication that lack in the coordinator framework so the so that was the major goal of Taylor okay so uh, other than authentication Laravel 1 uh, included models views sessions routing all these kind of things included in Laravel 1 but the Laravel 1 lacks in one major thing that is the controllers are not included at that time in Laravel 1 there were no controllers at all so the laravel 1 is not the mvc framework because if the controller is not there then what is the purpose of mvc okay model view controller if the controller is gone away then there is no use of mvc so the laravel 1 is not the mvc framework so let's see when the mvc framework included in laravel version which laravel version let's see the further so laravel 2 gets released in september 2011 after few months laravel 2 gets uh, gets released and uh, bringing various improvements from the author and community major new features included the support for controllers so finally the controllers get included in laravel 2 version so the laravel 2 version itself becomes the mvc framework full mvc framework okay so the mvc gets included in the version in the laravel 2 version so if the interviewer will ask you that which version of laravel gets the full mvc so you will answer laravel 2 version okay so let's see so after that after six months the laravel 3 version gets included okay laravel 3 version gets lost here you can see uh after six months in fact okay uh in february 2012 laravel 3 uh, version was released with a set of new features including the command line interface name addition see without command line interface now there is no way that we can build the laravel projects right now okay we have done all the commands like the uh, all these artisan commands we used to uh, play all the time uh, like for creating the models for creating the controllers for running the project okay so we always use php artisan php artisan php artisan but that itself gets included in the laravel 3 version before that there were there were no artisan commands okay there uh, uh, so at that time uh, uh, see process was something else of installing the laravel and uh, installing those packages i don't know that uh, was really a tough task to install and run the projects okay but now it become really easy with these command line interface uh, with these addition commands okay so also it gets the built-in support for more database management system and database migrations okay so finally the database migrations comes into play in laravel 3 so the laravel 3 version uh, gets two major uh, things one is the artisan commands and the next one is the database migration see we use migrations for getting the table all the time in all the laravel series that we have done so far uh, up till laravel 11 we are using the uh, migrations command for getting the table so these migration commands gets included in the laravel version 3 okay so uh let's see what happened in laravel 4 when it gets lost let's see so laravel 4 gets lost in may 2013 and that is the complete rewrite of the laravel framework so many major changes comes in laravel 4 finally the composer gets included in laravel 4 see uh, in the last session in the last video we have seen uh, that what is composer we understand the concept of composer composer is the package manager that helps to uh, install the packages in laravel not only packages in laravel laravel itself it helps to install the laravel itself and update the packages okay install the packages in laravel so this composer itself gets launched in laravel 4 okay along with the laravel 4 the composer comes into play okay so other than composer uh database seeder see database seeding gets included see we have used this seeder we have used this seeding as well in almost all the laravel series we able to populate the data uh, see we able to insert the data in the in the tables with the help of these uh seeding database seeding okay so itself the database seeding gets included in the laravel 4 version okay so also built-in support for sending different type of emails gets included in laravel 4 okay 
सो लेट्स सी लार्वल फाइव गेट्स रिलीज इन ईयर टू जीरो वन फाइव इन फेब्रवरी टू जीरो वन फाइव एज द रिजल्ट ऑफ इंटरनल चेंजेस न्यू फीचर इन लार्वल फाइव रिलीज इंक्लूड स्पोर्ट फॉर शेड्यूलिंग सो फाइनली दिस शेड्यूलिंग कम्स इन टू प्ले सो वाट इज शेड्यूलिंग सी शेड्यूलिंग आर लाइक द करोन जॉब्स करोन जॉब्स मीन्स द टास्क दैट आर रनिंग एट द बैक एंड ओके एट द बैक एंड ऑन द सर्वर लेवल सी वी यूज टू Uh, we can run the apis at the back end uh, like uh, all the big brands are having the apis like we have also done in the laravel api series uh, like inventory api orders api payment gateway apis okay so without those apis now it is not possible to control anything see complete stock management done with the help of these apis many big brands are there like unicommerce that provides all those kind of inventory management system so uh, so such, such a kind of scheduling in those apis like uh, every api is running after half an hour like if you have seen like if you have made some payment in amazon uh, suppose you have made the payment uh, but uh, your order uh, is not done but the payment is already made so at that time what happened that your payment you you get your payment refunder okay after some time that how it happened it happened because of these kind of apis that uh, runs at the back end all the time so we are going to develop these kind of apis as a laravel developer okay uh, so earlier also we have done uh, in future also we are going to do such kind of apis so this scheduling comes in laravel 5 okay so other than scheduling uh, many new things comes in laravel 5 uh, sorry laravel 5 <coughs> and simply externally handled authentication optional socialite package socialite package gets included in laravel 5 uh, in which we have seen that uh, facebook login uh, and uh, see we have done the google login as well in laravel 5 also introduce a new internal directory structure okay so let's see when laravel 6 gets launched let's see Oh sorry so before laravel 6 there are many mini versions gets included okay like laravel 5.1 released in june 2015 was the first release of laravel to receive long term support okay lts version gets started with the laravel 5.1 okay and laravel 5.3 was released on august 23 2016 the new features in 5.3 are focused on improving developer speed by adding additional out of the box improvements for common tasks so such kind of mini versions um, used to come laravel 5.4 was released on january 24 2017 with many new features like laravel dusk laravel mix blade components and slots markdown see these kind of things we have also used laravel mix we have also used in our series automatic packages Uh, route improvements higher order messaging uh, okay so these kind of things uh, got included in uh, the laravel mini versions okay so let's see when the laravel 6 gets lost let's see with uh, yeah laravel 6 was released on september 3 2019 introduce introducing semantic versioning improved authorization responses improved job middleware and sub query see sub query we have used lot of time in our laravel e-commerce series if you remember okay uh, so these kind of sub queries like uh, uh, if you want to get data uh, somewhere uh, like uh, like we can say uh, from the tables data from the tables from the many tables that are uh, that are the part of the other tables then Uh, it's a kind of the join like we use uh, joins uh, so it is a better way like we can use the sub query okay in laravel so these sub queries gets included in laravel 6 itself okay and the front end scaffolding was removed from the main package and moved into the laravel ui package so this one we have also used uh, we have also done this one when we have done the series laravel series laravel e-commerce series in laravel 6 the first thing that we have done we have installed this laravel ui package okay uh, so that is the major thing that was launched in laravel 6 okay so laravel 7 Uh, was released on March three two zero two zero with new features like Laravel Sanct Sanctum. Okay, so what is Laravel Sanctum? Laravel Sanctum are just like the Laravel passports, like we have used in the Laravel API series for generating the tokens for the APIs. Okay, so we can able to generate the tokens 
for the uh, with the help of laravel sanctum in laravel sanctum is now the internal part of the laravel now becomes the internal part of the laravel from the laravel 10 itself that we will study in the future as well okay so this is the great package uh, for our apis for uh, for giving the authentication for to the apis okay so laravel airlock blade component tags and route model binding improvements are also include, gets included in laravel 7 okay so laravel 8 was released on september 8 2020 with new features like separate models folder yeah for the first time models folder is separate otherwise there was no separate models folder all the models get scattered everywhere okay but now uh, we can just uh, need to open the models folder to check all the models from laravel 8 okay so php artisan serve enhancements and routing namespace change also gets included in laravel 8 so we can declare the route in some other way uh, like uh, we have done in the last series as well uh, okay so those uh, were changes uh, for the laravel 8 let's see what's uh, when the laravel 9 uh, introduced and with what changes laravel 9 was released on february 8 2022 with minimum php 8 requirements so for the first time minimum uh, that php 8 uh, uh, version is required and that is in laravel 9 and uh, that is having the features like improved route new database engine and new query builder interface okay in laravel 9 and in laravel 10 uh, was released on february 14 2023 with minimum php 8.1 requirement and having feature like native type declarations php syntax moderation and secure password so these are the features that's get included in the laravel 10 version and finally after that laravel 11 version uh, was released uh, in the first quarter of 2024 uh, with the minimum php 8.2 requirement this time see php version keeps on updating uh, like laravel 9 requires php 8 laravel 10 requires php 8.1 and laravel 11 requires php 8.2 version so make sure if you are uh, installing the latest version of laravel then you must be having it at least php 8.2 uh, for the laravel 11 as we are making this video in the year 2024 so the laravel 11 is the latest version of laravel okay and that is having the new features like revamped directory structure model cast changes config changes new once method route changes and new up uh, health route see uh, uh, there are many more changes uh, and we are going to study all these changes in the further videos uh, see first we are going to work on the basic things basic interview questions after that we are going to cover the advanced interview questions so uh, so you can stay tuned with me and for few months we are going to work on these questions okay so uh, that's set this is the history of laravel chances are less uh, i given the rating one out of five okay chances are one out of five uh, but uh, we need to make sure that we will not leave anything because we never know that the interviewer uh, may ask you about the history of laravel we uh, okay we never know okay so uh, may, and it's good like if you are going to be laravel developer for for your entire life okay then you must know its history as well so it is important that who developed the laravel and uh, which versions of laravel having which features at least you must uh, uh, you must have the uh, knowledge of major features launched in laravel 1 laravel 2 laravel 3 laravel 4 laravel 5 only the major uh, major features and uh, not all the features but you must uh, having some knowledge of that okay so uh, stay tuned for the next video in next video we are going to do some important questions of laravel some important basic questions of laravel that the interviewer may ask and that uh, we are going to cover the fresher laravel interviews for now and in the next session let's see few of the important questions uh, those the interviewer can ask you okay so stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye